God bless you and greetings to you from the wonderful name of our living Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and God, our Heavenly Father. Um, well, the prophecy conference that I was talking about is over. Uh, we had a wonderful time. I was just completely blown away by the love of everybody there, their kindness to my wife and myself. Um, Donna, and, uh, Donna and Susan were terrific and, and all the speakers were terrific and all the attendees were terrific and I don't want to mention too many names because then somebody will be left out that I didn't mean to leave out and I, you know I had acts of kindness um, bestowed upon me that I haven't had for years um, and I'm so very very thankful and you, you guys know who you are um, thank you, thank you, thank you again so much for being so kind to me and my wife. Um, the conference uh, was Friday night, all day Saturday. And then Sunday morning, we met at a different location and had a Susan shared some things. And then we went to Donna's house and um, had a great fellowship there. It was right out of the book of Acts. Um, People were prayed for, people were set free, people were delivered, people were praising the Lord, and people were just, it's just so hard to describe. So, you know, if you, if you, if the Lord tarries and we have the, another one, you know, I can't give a higher recommendation. Uh, I don't know how to give one uh, higher than uh, what I had experienced. Um, and I got to meet some of the, you know, my uh, YouTube subscribers. God bless you guys. You actually came. <laughs> and you showed up. And you were so kind to me. You were so nice. And um, I was blown away. There must have been, I don't know, quite a few people were able to make it. And uh, I got to see I'm, a, I'm as strange in person as I am on the YouTube, I guess. I'm not really sure, but... Um, during that time, I did receive a word from the Lord. It was Saturday, August the 16th, 2014. And I wanted to go ahead and share that with, with the subscribers and anybody that might be interested. This is a very heartfelt one. Um, uh, well, let me just read it to you, please. Um, it goes, O oh Israel, O oh Israel. How I have desired you to come to me. I have with outstretched hands pleaded with you during the night time and during the dark times. I have watched from afar and from up close crying for you, lamenting for you to come back to me. Yet you would not. I have watched with disdain as the lands of the heathens have struck you once twice thrice and that had, should have been enough but they kept striking you as you lay fallen but there is a new day coming it is rapidly approaching and is almost here a day when I raise Isaac up from the dust and bear my arm for him to fight for him as he awakens from his slumber and he looks into my eyes and asks is it you Lord are you the one I'm looking for and I answer him yes son it is me the one of long ago who came to rescue you from your sins to redeem you with my only begotten son's precious blood to forgive you. Come back to me, son. Come back to me as a son on a long journey comes back to honor his father. Behold, O Israel, behold, I shall bear my arm for you in battle. I shall fight for you in battle. All nations shall once again learn my name 
I shall make my name known among the nations. The nations will learn to fear me once again, like in times of old. They shall witness my great power displayed for my son Israel once more. Jesus shall come back for his bride before the great and notable day of the Lord starts in earnest. Get ready, my bride, get ready. Your bridegroom is coming back for you and will take you to your place of safety. <clears throat> then the day of the Lord starts in earnest. Be watchful, my bride, be watchful. I shall return for you in an hour you think not. Be watchful, Israel, be watchful. For the Lord shall appear on the scene to fight for you, to rescue you, to save you from destruction, and to cause my name to once again be feared by all nations. No more mocking, no more scorning, no longer will I tolerate insult after insult. Do they not, do they not know who I am? Have they not heard how I of long ago uttered the very words of creation that allowed their existence in the first place? They shall learn. They shall remember that I, the Most High God of Israel, I, the God and Father of Jesus, shall cause them to remember a thing, and they shall not forget it. I shall defeat our enemies. I shall send my son for his bride. I shall pick up the fallen Israel and awaken him from his slumber. I am the great I am shall do all of this before the eyes of the children of the earth and the fallen ones, the impostors who fight against me. They believe Satan can win they have forgotten that I have won the battle. I have won the war. I have the victory in all things. They shall squeal with fear and wonderment as I, the great I am, do these things right before their very eyes. Their lies won't save them. Their technology won't save them. Satan won't and can't save them even if he wanted to. Their rebellion shall finally be put down. Their lies and schemes defeated. Their plans brought to ruin. I shall do this. I shall retake the kingdom and place my son's enemies under his feet. He shall then come back and establish his kingdom his enemies defeated and in chains. He shall come back as King of Kings and Lord of Lords to rule all the earth as the mighty King I envision him to be. He shall rule with a rod of iron the nations and again will be uttered throughout the land, uttered throughout the world. Blessed be he who comes in the name of the Lord. I will have put down those who oppose me, those who oppose my only begotten Son, and of his kingdom there will be no end, and at the end of all rebellion and wars I shall send to earth the new Jerusalem, which shall descend from heaven, and we shall rule and reign together, and bring in the final age of the blessings of the sons of God, who will rule under us as priests and kings throughout our creations and beyond. A blessed, blessed day and time to live, my precious ones, for you shall see it come to pass as you make Jesus Lord in your lives and endure till the end. Great blessings, honor and glory await my dear, precious and faithful ones. Your rewards and inheritance will be more than worth your struggles and sacrifices while here upon the earth. 
I love you, my children. I love you. Keep looking up, for your redemption draws nigh. Keep up the good fight for me. It is well worth it. For you are my dear little ones. Be holy, for I am holy. I desire to love and dote on you for eternity. For you are mine, and I will be yours, and together we will travel down the quarters of time triumphant and living the victory forever. I love you, I love you. Persevere to the end. Be overcomers for me, and I shall give you your crowns and rewards for faithful service to me, your Heavenly Father, and my only begotten Son, Jesus, your Lord, Savior, Brother, and King. Behold, He, Jesus, comes quickly, and He, Jesus, has His rewards with Him. Will you be found faithful when the Bridegroom comes back for His bride? Pray that you are accounted worthy to escape all these things and stand before the Son of Man. Look up, for your redemption draws an eye. I love you, my children. I love you. Soon, very soon, we shall all be together and see each other face to face. Okay. Um, wow. Wow. Powerful message from the Lord. Um, I try to do it justice by sharing it, but it's just a real powerful word, uh, very powerful. And you know, blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. And Jesus, wow, you know, the, their love for us is just amazing. Is, you know, I look at myself and I, you know, see this very uh, flawed vessel of this world, and yet I know in my heart of hearts that they love me, love me, love me, and they, you know, put up with my idiosyncrasies and always encourage me to be my best, and I'm doing my best to approach them, ask for forgiveness, ask them to uh, show me a better way. To clean me up and I uh, endeavor to walk a holy life for they are holy and I guess it's Hebrews 4 uh, it says without holiness you won't see the Lord no man sees the Lord or no man sees God um, uh, our conference was on basically holiness and living a holy life uh, my understanding is it will be on YouTube uh, they're gonna make uh, make it available soon um, I don't know the exact day it'll be made, made available um, Susan Davis Donna McDonald are the are the hostesses or the hosts of the conference and uh, it'll probably be on her web page um, I had the honor and privilege of teaching the importance of living a holy life um, a lot of people like that um, particular teaching and it just so happened for that one it was almost all written out so I turned in my notes so if that particular teaching um, touches your heart or, or your interest um, then you can contact them I don't have any copies available on the internet but but they said they're gonna make them available so that's something that should you choose to do you can you can uh, contact them uh, get on their mailing list etc and they're going to make them available for free of course uh, but you need to go through them because I don't you know I'm don't have all the technology stuff uh, that I can put all this stuff and then make it available to you but they but they do so if you're interested and the whole the whole weekend is recorded, and many great speakers, great, you know, teachings and sharings and heart sharings, etc. It was a very uh, power-packed weekend. 
So it should be up on YouTube. Um, I don't know exactly when. Give them a week or two, you know, but it should be up soon. If you're interested, you know, if you're not, you're not. You know, that's fine. We love you anyway. You know, you don't have to watch me. You don't have to, you know, do anything. It's between you and the Lord. If the Lord moves in your life, you do it. If he isn't moving that direction, then you do the direction that he wants you to do. You know, I'm nobody. I'm I'm a messenger. I receive messages from the Lord, and I try to share them with people that want to listen. Uh, people say, are you this or that or the other? And, uh, you know, if you want to know who and what I am, go to the Lord. He'll tell you if you need to know. Um, so, you know, for my uh, critics out there, then, um, you know, you have the freedom of will to do that. But if you get into nastiness and name calling and things of that nature, I'll ban you from my YouTube channel like anybody would. You know, but if you have an honest uh, disagreement, that's fine. When it comes to whether there's going to be a rapture or not, there's people that believe one way or the other. Um, if you can disagree cordially, that's fine. If you're going to get into name calling and accusations and the the such, well, I don't I don't tolerate that. I'm your brother. I'm not your Lord. I'm here to share the things that the Lord shares with me. I hope they're in a palatable way so that you can kind of understand his heart as he's working through me. Um, and if uh, you're of a differing opinion or the opposite opinion, then get on your YouTube channel and say what you think. Um, and I'm not going to come and trash you on your YouTube channel. You do what you do feel the Lord wants you to do. <clears throat> so, I don't want to make this a marathon. Um, I love you guys. Uh, thank you so much for your support uh, and your kind comments. Um, <laughs> it takes me a while to get through the brass of YouTube, Google, and the rest of it. I, I try to get and answer questions, but sometimes uh, I'm not exactly Johnny on the spot. And for that, I apologize, um, but I but I do try, and um, uh, if you care to comment, you certainly can. Um, some of the people there at the prophecy conference, I hope if they run across this video, they'll give their uh, comments on, on what they thought the uh, weekend was like for them. Um, and then, you know, if Susan and uh, Donna decide to uh, do another one, then we'll try to give you a heads up and let you know what's going on. And uh, if the Lord tarries, maybe the next one will be something you want to do. Maybe not. I don't know. But uh, I know this one was a, was a game changer, was, was life changing for many people. And it was a blessing, certainly, for, for all that intended. So I love you guys. Um, and we'll talk to you later. So, Lord, um, gives me some words to share with you. I'll keep bringing them up. Um, we just have a real sense of imminency and urgency, and just don't know how much time we have left to get ready. Um, but we do need to get ready. Um, you need to put off the world and put on the Word, put on the mind of Christ, get out of the junk of this world can't take it with you anyway um, so why not get ready for your everlasting life instead of playing in the mud that's this world <laughs> it's like making mud pies um, the things of this world are temporary and they're going to be done away with and you can't take them with you anyway but the good work that you do that's inspired of the Lord that does go with you and you are rewarded for it so Consider these things. I love you. God bless you. Until next time.